The answer is yes. And I'll, I'll bet the farm that I'm right on that, but I did not give you the time frame, and I do not know, I do not know the, the time frame, right? So uh, just to give you a sense of why I'm so, so certain about that, for years and years, we had this debate at, at, at Goldman Sachs because I was talking about the, uh, the digitization of the equity markets and everybody could see it happening. And one of the things that we really uh, pioneered at Goldman Sachs was algorithmic trading of, of US equities and later global, global equities. And I would say this is coming to FIC, fixed income currency and commodities, absolutely. And I remember earlier on in my career, I would be ordered by senior people to stop talking about the equitization of FIC and the digital or algorithmic trading of FIC. And I was told, well, Marty, isn't it obvious to you that there's only one General Electric stock QSIP, but it's got 600 bonds? And then people would just stop after saying that as if that was the reason that digitization was never going to happen in the bond market. And thinking as a computer scientist, 600, right, is not even three orders of magnitude. And it's just a few iterations of Moore's law before the computers get fast enough, right? Then people would say, oh, it has to be exchange traded in order for it to be digitized. No, it does not. You simply have to capture the data. And that's hard if the data is all going over the phone. And exchanges generally have an easier handle on capturing the data, which is important for digitization. Um, but we found other ways to capture all that data as everybody moved to Bloomberg chat for all their trading. Well, that actually made it pretty straightforward. And so EM is just the next iteration and, and it's coming just a matter of time.